What we're showing here is a very interesting use case uh, of the future for dynamic UI um, of the future vehicle and uh, how that could uh, help OEMs sell more cars and uh, maintain the life cycle of their in-vehicle infotainment system and the investment they've made into it. So what we have here is an IMX6 device with QNX operating system running the IVI application created with Kanzi uh, UI. And the UI for the, our example IVI is shown here. And uh, in our example scenario, the consumer is able to go online using his normal browser, in this case Chrome, um, and actually go into um, the Chrome uh, menus and change the color of the uh, of the car to match that from the standard UI into the specific uh, car configuration he purchased. So you can see now that the color changed to red. Let's do that one more time. So let's make it a yellow SUV and there we go. And we can also change the car model itself from sedan to an SUV here. So the data is being uh, pushed into the UI live via Kanzi Connect into the Kanzi client. What we're also able to do, of course, is to uh, configure the services and the individual widgets. So let's say there's a new cool killer app uh, for kids. So again, the consumer is able to go enable that in myporsche.com, for example, and the new widget appears on the dynamic UI created by Kanzi. There's also a new music app and maybe a new lonely road navigation and traveling app that is again pushed on the entertainment section of the IVI. Um, my home, valet, traveler, all of these updated on the fly and the UI is reconfiguring itself on the fly. And let's add a, one final touch of personalization. Let's take a picture using the standard camera of this uh, off-the-shelf tablet. I'm able to take a picture and Kansi Connect uploads it into the production car and the infotainment system, personalizing it just for my uh, personal preferences. So hugely flexible uh, system powered by Kansi UI on the infotainment system and Kansi Connect providing the data communication and dynamic update on the fly.